Eat it, eat it. There we go. Winter. Do you ever find yourself scrolling on Amazon and you just go through this black hole and then you end up finding something really, really cool and you think it's cheap and then you realize that shipping is like 50 bucks? Yeah, that that happens. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're gonna be showing off my purchase that may or may not have been a bad one. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. It's winter, which means when I'm going truck camping, I am 100% in a sleeping bag. I own a couple different styles of sleeping bags. My number one favorite style is the mummy sleeping bag because they make them the absolute warmest. I have a red one. I have a couple different other ones as well, and they are rated for either negative 30. I have a negative 30 one. I have one that's rated for zero degrees, but mummy sleeping bags are one of the most common that you'll see when people are out camping because they are so warm and they can be compacted into a really, really small bag. So it makes it super easy for backpackers and things like that. And they're really convenient. So I would say right now on the market, mummy style sleeping bags are kind of taking over. And then you have your normal style sleeping bags, right? Like the ones that everyone kind of uses. And then they kind of go up to the mummy sleeping bags, right? And But the thing about the mummy sleeping bags is there's no room. I mean, no room that you can't move your feet around, nothing. You are very compacted in that sleeping bag, but that is due to the fact that it's really insulated and really warm, right? So pros and cons. I would never consider myself a claustrophobic type of person by any means, but sometimes I get a little frustrated that my feet can't move in it. I have about this much room for both my feet at the end of my mummy bag. So it's like, it's very slim margins, right? So then I came across this sleeping bag. Are we joking? Look at this thing. It's almost like you're wearing bibs or waders because your feet are completely in there, but there is a zipper. So if you're a little toesy wants to come out, there is a zipper at the feet, which is amazing. That goes on both sides. Look at this. These are your legs, okay? And then this is your arms. They also come with little zippers, so if your little handsies wants to come out, they can. This thing is very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. This is gonna be one interesting night sleeping in the truck in this thing and kind of raiding it and just just kind of seeing how warm and if it's worth your money. I've been checking ice every single day this week and I believe right now there's safe ice down the street at a local pond. So let's pack everything up. Let's go see if we can go find some ice, do some ice fishing, and then we're gonna be cooking, camping, doing all those fun things and um, hanging out in this. <laughs> Today is my last shot to catch some fish ice fishing because after today, all this ice will be gone and no more safe ice. So I really need to capitalize like today on hopefully catching my first fish of the ice season. Very late start, very horrendous start to the ice season, but there's nothing you can do. Mother nature wins. Let's see if we can crank some fish. Very nervous, but super excited this morning. Also, sorry if you hear beeping in the background. They're doing like a bunch of construction over here. Not sure what they're doing, but yeah, there's definitely gonna be some background like beeping and whatnot. Good times, good old times. Oh, here we go. No, <laughs> he smacked that. I didn't hook him though, so he might come back. Oh, what? Okay, I think I, I nipped him that time, so he's probably not coming back. But I imagine he also just ripped my bait off. Yeah. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't rip my bait off. That's a shocker. Oh, 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 oh. 
No, I ripped it right out of his mouth. Come on, hammer it. Wow, I'm like really bad. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. There we go. Oh, nice. That's a good one. <laughs> yes, kind of want to eat him. Not gonna lie. If we catch a, ooh, bye bud. If we catch a bigger one, I might, I really might eat them. These cold water fish taste the absolute best. I just want to make sure it's like worth it to keep them. You know, I want to make sure they're good size. So if we do catch a big one, I'm eating them for dinner. There we go. Wow. Drag screamer. Oh, a bass. Oh, a bass. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That just made my entire freaking day. Makes everything worth it. I love me some good largies. Nothing big by any means, but I'll take a large mouth any day of the week, especially right now. Bye, buddy. Look at him go. The ice is so clear. That was insanely fun. That's exactly what I needed, is just get on some fish before the ice is gone. It's gonna come back again, but who knows how long that's gonna take considering it's January and this is the first time I've been able to get on the ice. A little concerning, but it's okay. I wanted to mention the jacket that I'm wearing, the Guggen Squad jacket and this Guggen Squad reel. Look how beautiful that thing is. I just had so much fun out there. This jacket kept me nice and warm. This reel held up amazing. It's a, uh, their trout and panfish series rod for smaller applications because it's a 1000 size reel and it just killed it on the ice like that drag so sick i've been working with guggen for three years now and i love them so if you guys want to use my code at checkout code becca save yourself 10 percent off oh. it's a it's a little icy next to the truck oh. as i was saying if you want to use my code at checkout it would greatly greatly help the channel so Save yourself some money, pick up a jacket. They do make bass rods. This reel is amazing. They have a lot of cool stuff on the website, so go check it out. But I'm gonna get in my truck before I fall. I did fall like two days ago here, so you figured I would've learned my lesson by now, but I haven't. Oh. This Kool-Aid gum I got at the dollar store, it's not even good. Why not? Whoa, the truck just totally slid on that ice. It's okay, truck. I slid on that ice too. I'm gonna go drop everything off before we go truck camping because I have way too much equipment. I brought my ice fishing hut just in case it was too cold. So that's taking up a massive amount of the truck bed where we're gonna sleep tonight. So drop everything off, run to the grocery store, pick out some dinner. We're gonna have a great camping adventure tonight. I'm super stoked. It's gonna be a chilly one, but Let's uh, go drop everything off. I'll meet up with you guys in a little bit. Right now, we're sleeping in the truck, per usual, at this spot that I pass maybe once a week. I find myself driving off this road, and I saw a camper here last night. So someone did camp in this parking lot last night. Not feeling 100% hopeful, but I mean, it's not like we don't deal with cops, so whatever. But hopefully we're okay tonight. I'm pretty, pretty hopeful though. Like on a scale of one to 10, I'm like, a 6.3 hopeful that no cops will wake us up tonight but we'll see we'll see <laughs> i think it's time for me to go to the mountains and do some truck camping because man it's kind of hard truck camping in the city not gonna lie not gonna lie 
I don't have black pepper. Since when? I'm gonna trade this out for garlic salt then. Makes the most sense. I think it's only fair that before we cook dinner, we do it right. We did not spend money on this sleeping bag to not be able to do things in the truck, right? I wanna be able to like cook and hang out and go on my laptop in the sleeping bag. That is like the sole purpose of it. So I'm gonna get in the sleeping bag. Super excited because this thing's not easy to get into, but I'm young. All right, I'm young, don't judge. The feet and the leg holes just look way too similar. See, this looks like feet, but this is arms. Oh, I just sliced my face. Golly. Come on. Come here. Oh. I'm actually kind of hot in this thing right now, I'm not gonna lie. Look at the, my one single foot has so much room in here and my arms are free. And if I don't want my arms free, cause it's cold in my feet. I mean, cause it's cold and my hands are getting cold, you know? But then how the heck do I get this hand zippered? Yeah, okay, well that's a hard one. They should put like a string there so you can do that. I mean, I can always just add a string, but we're gonna open our hands out. <sighs> Whew, it's like 28 degrees right now and it's a, uh, this thing's actually really toasty, but is it going to stay toasty? That is like the, the, the key, key thing. Cause I just moved around a lot, blood is flowing. How's he gonna do when my blood ain't flowing? Well, my blood is going, to always be flowing when I'm asleep, but it slows down. Pros and cons. The con, really hard to get into, and it makes you look about 200 pounds heavier than you actually are. Um, yeah. While I look the way I look, let's talk about dinner. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I decided to just bring stuff from home. Dessert. We actually just bought dessert and you guys are gonna see what I'm doing with that dessert because none of you guys would be able to guess it right now That's how cool it is This comes out Like that and what I think is my best bet right now take my arms out Now that is a massive pro because my upper body always feels a lot warmer than my lower body When I am just like sitting around doing nothing. I always feel like from like my knees down are always way colder than the rest of my body. That's not like a medical thing. It's just, I don't know, my lower body gets colder. So this is a pro. My feet can be crisscross applesauce because if I was a sleeping bag, my legs would have to be straight, especially in the mummy sleeping bag. And I can do like parkour and a sleeping bag, you know? It's pretty cool. So far I'm feeling the purchase. But if it, if it does good throughout the night, then I'll be very, very happy. Like, very stoked. So, we'll see. Because if I stay warm, especially right now, it's below freezing. If I can stay warm and below freezing temps in this thing, unbelievable. I'll be so stoked. But let's do some dinner. I made grilled cheese and tomato soup in this thing the other day. I got them for Christmas. It came in a four-pack. There's one that, like, there's a griller. There's a secret one that I don't want to tell you guys. This one is a sandwich slash like omelet maker. And then I forgot the fourth one, but it came with four different like mini cooking things. And I was like, this is perfect. This is what we're rolling with. But that's not all actually. This is lit up, which means it is warming up. A lot of you guys haven't said anything, shockingly enough, but I haven't been able to use my solar panels, which I'm shocked no one has called me out about that, but some reason, I think I blew a fuse in my solar panel setup, like the inverter and everything, I think I blew a fuse, and I literally haven't had two seconds to fix it, so sadly enough, I don't have a solar panel set up right now. It actually happened in my trip when I was in Georgia, and it was terrifying, but 
okay. Okay, we survived. Uh, oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? You'll never guess. A can of tuna? Some bread? Oh my goodness, what is she doing? Ah. Better pray there's no holes in this bag. Didn't think that one through. Okay. Always get the water out of your tuna. I don't know why some people don't do that. That scares me. I'm a sucker for like a good tuna melt. Like I need I need a good tuna melt, not like some something stupid. We don't deal with dumb tuna melts in this house. Imagine being able to make tuna melts in a sleeping bag like this. Don't worry, the juice is in the bag, all right? We're just trying to make do with what we got. Um, let's see. I wish I grabbed like a bowl, but that requires me to get out of the truck. So we're just gonna try doing it like this. And I can't imagine it's not gonna be delicious either way, okay? Add your mayo. The more mayo, the better. Not actually, but I like a lot of mayo. And then grab your non-existent bowl and just mix it around on the tuna melt. That actually mixed together way easier than I thought. That looks good, I'm shocked. Not shocked, I, I had pure confidence. We got some uh, dairy-free cheese in a bag. It's gonna be delicious. I wish you guys could smell it, it smells so good. It's not what you think it is, it's basil, okay? Freshly chopped basil. Oop, the thing just clicked so it's ready for my tuna melt. It's preheated. Something about basil and tuna, I don't know why. They just really go together, which is kind of generic, I guess, but do it. Put some fresh basil in your tuna melt. It's gonna, it's gonna make a difference. Put that on. Ugh, call me Chef Ramsay, baby. This is why sometimes I think I need to rebuild a different truck bed setup because I have to physically get out of my truck to grab anything that I forgot, which is plates, bowls, napkins. I can't get napkins. It's kind of a bummer. I've been thinking about trying to build a different truck build and I have a truck build in mind. I just don't have the funds for it right now, but I'm gonna start saving up because I think we need a different truck build design. If you have any ideas, drop them in the comments down below. If you wanna send me pictures, send me pictures on my Instagram so I can kinda of like check them out and see what you guys think would be the mo most practical build. Because at the end of the day, not every build is going to work for the next person. You guys know my routine, camping out of the truck, living out of the truck just as much as I do. So I think at the end of the day, you guys would know just as well as I would on what build would work the best for me. So yeah, I don't know. I, I'm definitely in the looking. I'm definitely looking for a different truck build, but I'm not dissatisfied by any means. I'm very happy with this truck, but I think it would be cool to spice things up a little bit, you know? Spice things up a little bit. Like this thing is piping hot, baby. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, that came out nice. I am Gordon Ramsay. The only way we'll know if it's good is if we get a good cheese pull. Oh, that's hot. Joke's on you, it's dairy-free cheese. There was never going to be a cheese pull. Do I wait for it to cool down? Oh, snap! Oh, man. Dude, I just impress myself every day. That is the best thing I've ever received. I love it. Yeah, this is really, really good. I'm telling you, that basil adds so much. So much. I never put any seasoning in my tuna. Huh. I forgot about that one. No one's perfect, Gordon Ramsay, okay? No one's perfect. That is so good. Mm. While I'm finishing this up, we should preheat dessert. I haven't even used this one, the tag's still on it. Brand new, never used. 
Now I know these look a little, <laughs> I know what the comments are gonna be. I know what they look like, <laughs> but these are donut holes. These are donut makers. We're making donuts. We've made donuts on the channel before and it was my most popular recipe. I think of every like weird random recipe I've made on this channel, that one was the most like people went home and made them type of thing. So we're gonna plug this bad boy in. I'm so excited. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I try to be patient and not make it at home because I knew that I'd rather wait before my first time using it and do it with you guys so we can share the moment together. <laughs> that sounds so dumb. Biscuits. I hate opening these things so much. Layer cheese. That looks better than my cheese pull. Put that right. Um. Oh god, this might not come out that good. Okay. All right. That one's way too thick, huh? Let well, let's just experiment. Is this a fire hazard? Oh, that went everywhere. <gasps> what? Oh God, oh God, oh God. That's good. Ah. Okay, yep, I'm in love. Are we joking? Look at our donut. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. <gasps> that was a bad idea. I don't know why I blew on it. Good one, Becca. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Sleeping in a, a onesie sleeping bag and eating donuts no one is doing it doing it like me okay all right that was so good there's no way i can eat the other donut luckily it's gonna be below freezing so that biscuit dough is not gonna go bad and i can bring it back and lila and i can make more of these can you see my breath winter that was so sick. That was so cool. I'm very happy right now. Very full. I would like to not use my electric heating blanket tonight. I'm planning on using that all winter long. If you guys haven't seen the last video, go check it out. But I'm not too sure I'm going to need it tonight because of how warm this thing is. It is so, so cozy. This is crazy. But we'll see. Will I wake up freezing? Only one can find out. This might be a life hack right here. You can do anything you'd possibly want. Except for run. You can't really run that well. I tried that. Well, it's getting colder. <laughs> oh yeah. That's nice. This definitely isn't a cold weather sleeping bag. It was hot in here when we were cooking on those little mini grill things. Now that they're off, everything's off for the night. It is getting colder in here and it's, uh, this thing ain't as warm as you would think. I would say don't, if you do buy this, don't use it under like 40 degrees it's like 28 29 i don't know by the time we wake up it's gonna be like 26 so it's gonna get cold i'm really testing this thing to its limit it has no information for what it, like temperature it's rated for every sleeping bag you buy it will tell you hey this sleeping bag is rated for xyz 
do not go below these temperatures or else a sleeping bag, it's going to defeat its purpose because you will not be warm. Of course, I bought the one with no information on it and crazy expensive shipping. What else would you expect, you know? <laughs> this was a really good day. I had a really good day. I'm going to hit the hay, so good night. The Velcro, the Velcro got me. Rise and shine. Uh, it definitely got really cold last night. This is not a cold weather one. Cold weather one. I could have slept for probably another like five hours. Look at that. Yeah. 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 I don't know. You guys tell me, is this sleeping bag right here worth the money? It was $55 and then a ridiculous amount of shipping. And I can't remember off the top of my head how much I paid for shipping. But as like an Amazon Prime member, I never pay for shipping ever. And then when I saw the price of how much this thing cost to ship, I sh was shocked. Uh, actually, this is literally the easiest part, is getting out. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Let's open up, let's get some light. We need some natural light in here. Let the world see me in my sleeping bag. It's a baseball field, but I don't think this is a part of the baseball field parking lot. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not like a, a big fan of Dunkin' Donuts, but Dunkin' Donuts is literally everywhere you look if you're driving in New England. My voice just cracked. So it's kind of hard for me not to just go to Dunkin' sometimes, right? I don't hate it. I do like it. But I have a Dunkin' Donuts gift card, so we're gonna go use my Dunkin' gift card and get some breakfast real quick and a coffee. A coffee. Can we choose a Dunkin'? How can I help you? Hi, can I do the caramel craze signature latte? A medium, please? Yeah, no problem. You're gonna order a medium iced caramel craze signature latte made with almond milk? Yes, please. All right, it's gonna be 10.35. Have a good day, sweetie. Thank you. Oh, she was so nice. She said, have a good day, sweetie. Dunkin' Donut workers are never nice. She's beating all odds. Hi. Oh, thank day. you. Yeah, you too. Someone give that woman a raise. She was one of the nicest Dunkin' Donuts workers I've ever encountered with. That was incredible. Hi everyone, I'm sitting here editing and I just realized that when I closed out the video, I accidentally pressed the stop recording button. So there's no outro for this video except for right now. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know how you guys feel about the sleeping bag in the comments down below. Many mixed feelings about it, but the concept is definitely there and it's really, really cool. Again, shout out to that Dunkin' Donuts worker. She was so sweet. Anything else I have to say? I don't think so, but thank you for coming along with me on this adventure. It was a lot of fun and I'll see you guys in the comments as I post this video. I love you guys, and I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.